Audi S5 Sportback 2017. In Audi's ever-expanding arsenal of increasingly similar cars, the S5 Sportback seems to tick nearly every box, trademark Quattro all-wheel drive for year round traction, a mighty 349bhp turbocharged V6 engine, stylish low-slung interior and coupesque silhouette, all with the practicality of a hatchback and large boot. The big question is whether it offers the engagement to warrant its badge's substantial £47,000 price. On paper at least, the S5 Sportback is convincing, a 21bhp boost over its predecessor, an additional 44 pounds foot and 85 kilograms worth of liposuction. Potent engine and quattro deliver serious performance. This is unquestionably a quick car thanks in part to its V6 delivering its maximum 369 pounds foot torque output from as low as 1370 revolutions per minute upwards. Allied with Quattro traction, the S5 rockets out of junctions, which is useful, given how infrequently you'll be let out of them. The new engine isn't the most characterful, but its six-cylinder tally does result in it sounding much more interesting than the four-cylinder Mercedes-AMG CLA 45, albeit less overtly raspy than the six-cylinder C43, although you might prefer the S5's more subtle soundtrack. It'll dispatch the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 4.7 seconds, and does so without making its exertions obvious. The engine is muted and noise levels otherwise low, reducing the sensation of speed. Some may dislike this business-like manner, but the flip side is that this sportback is much more relaxing to drive than many other similarly fast machines, particularly when fitted with the 900 pounds sports suspension with adaptive damping control, which, somewhat surprisingly, delivers a smoother ride. Dim-witted Tiptronic gearbox stents the S5's appeal. Automatic gearboxes don't come much slicker than Audi's dual-clutch S-tronic units. Sadly, the S5 doesn't get one. Instead it makes do with the torque converter-based Tiptronic automatic, the performance of which doesn't tally with the car's asking price. It's not uncommon for it to hesitate, and it's nowhere near as direct feeling as the dual-clutch alternatives. If you're just cruising around, that said, it does a perfectly serviceable job of picking the right ratio. Demand a little more from it and its speed and decision-making capability will leave a little to be desired. Super direct steering takes some getting used to. Off for the 950 pounds dynamic steering you'll be rewarded with extremely direct steering, with the smallest twitch of the wheel at low speed sending the nose darting. Build up speed and the steering weights up convincingly, though you get very little confidence building feedback through the flat bottomed wheel. The S5's body control is hard to fault, and the all wheel drive system helps deliver a planted cornering stance. The ride is reasonably firm, although certainly not overly so for a sports saloon, while being compliant enough to absorb most bumps and soak up rough tarmac without losing grip. There's not much of a sporting edge here, though, even with everything in performance-focused dynamic mode. Verdict The S5 Sportback is sufficiently quick enough to out-accelerate what's arguably its main rival, the BMW 440i Grand Coupe, while being impressively refined. However, with options, our test car was knocking on the door of £56,000. So the refined but unexciting driving experience means the S5 can't help but feel a little underwhelming. Drivers after a menacing looking, rapid all-weather five-door with space for four and a comfortable, plush interior, whatever the price, will be happy with the S5 Sportback. Those expecting a more sporting car, on the other hand, will find the engine too muted and the steering a little remote for lobbing this 4.7 meters long machine around. Us? We'd sacrifice the performance of the S5 for a much less pricey lesser sportback and still get the chic interior, strong performance, and pedal 2.0 liter quattro form, plus a super slick Hestronic automatic gearbox.